Hello, just going to do a short manual video. I'm practicing manuals on my standard STA. And I'm going to see how many parking spaces I can do today. Let's get to it. Well, that was pretty good. <laughs> Sometimes you feel locked in and then all of a sudden like a hand comes up and just pulls your front wheel down. <laughs> Nine parking spaces, right? Nine, I actually went a little past, so probably 10 parking spaces. So this is my 20 inch bike. Super short, chain stays, well, short. Um, not to today's terms, but this is like a 13.5 inch chain stay and a 20.5 inch top tube so out of all the bikes I'm manualing this is going to be the most twitchy so you really got to be on your manual game with this bike. because I started one space back from where I was. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, that was ten because I came down right at this one that's past the camera. So ten, not bad. Sometimes. Oh, come on. Oh crap, that's one, two, three. Yep, that was 12 parking spaces. Damn, that's pretty far. I'm impressed with that, especially on this bike. I know on my 26 inch DJ bike, once I get a manual locked in, I feel like it just go forever because the balance point on that bike is much bigger. And what I mean by that is once you get into the manual, you have more room to go up and down and still maintain the manual as where this bike that little margin where that amount of room that you can go up and down or back and forward is very little so you got to be pretty much locked on sweet i'll take 12 for today okay so there you have it 12 parking spaces pretty stoked on that uh, manuals are much more challenging on this bike they're easier to get into but they're much harder to find that balance point and maintain it for a long period of time so I'll take 12 parking spaces it's pretty far <laughs> I'm 
way back there to pass the camera and then if you're just wondering you know I came down somewhere in the middle of that handicap zone so yep that's 12 spaces sweet thanks for watching